everyone. Just wait in a few minutes. Hi everybody and welcome to tonight's 7 at 7. So we're going to take 7 minutes to talk about something that we think is really important. And tonight it's all about when should I post on social media. So when should I post on social media is a really kind of key question and one that doesn't really have an answer. We can't say, oh well for you and your business, 3 o'clock on, on, on Friday is definitely the best time to post. And that's just unfortunately the, the nature of the, of the beast. So there are very kind of, there's loads of research about the best kind of time that a, a social media platform is available. So loads and loads of different research has, has come out and really they all kind of say the same thing. So things like LinkedIn, it's obviously more popular between the th th Tuesday and Thursday times and usually kind of that core networking um, time between 10 and 11 in the morning because that's when people maybe have their first break of the day, people maybe don't go on a Friday because they don't work, and they definitely don't go on a professional networking site on the weekend. Facebook, for example, is usually more busy between kind of Thursday and Sunday. It's when people maybe start to wind down, it's when people are in their own personal time, which is exactly what the platform was created for. So knowing when your kind of platforms are being used on a general level, is really, really important, but unfortunately it doesn't give you the exact results and you shouldn't really let it dictate everything because there are so many other things to consider. The first thing to think about is actually the algorithm. This is a word that's used very often when it comes to social media and unfortunately it's not really something we can say, well, the algorithm for this platform does X, Y and Z. Because the algorithms are built in such a way that means that they adapt and they change and they are absolutely constantly changing what might be the algorithm right now this second might not be the case at quarter past seven so it's really an important thing to bear in mind that while yes to be aware of it but also be conscious that you just can't change it you can't beat it you can't cheat it you just need to embrace it so the algorithms are changed and adapted with every single piece of engagement that a post receives. So every like, every share, every comment makes the algorithm of a certain platform think, oh, that's quite popular. I might show more people that. Or, oh, actually people are really liking this. I'm going to make sure more people see it. In the same vein, if you're, post if you're not posting very regularly at all, your platforms will think they're not really that bothered. They don't really care about their followers. Other people are a little bit more active, other people seem to care a little bit more, I'm going to show them in feeds a little bit higher. So encouraging engagement and getting people to kind of like, like, share and comment is really important to help your content be seen more. And this algorithm also shows you content. So these, these platforms decide what they're going to show you based on things that you like and things that people like you like. So the best way to explain this is the explore page on Instagram. This is where Instagram will show you things that they think you're going to like. It may be from pages that you've previously liked and unfollowed. It may be from pages that are similar to the people that you like or things that you're regularly searching for. And the way to demonstrate the algorithm is very much to say, well, actually, my explore page last week was all about puppies. It was full of cockapoos because that's what I wanted to see because I was maybe a little bit down. Then the following week, it might be, oh, actually, it's loads of nail art because I've just been looking for that and I'm got, I've got a nail appointment next week, if only. The following week, it might be about hairstyles for a wedding. So it all does depend on what that platform knows that you're looking for. So it is impossible to explain, but an algorithm means that even if you kind of, that even though you post something, it might not necessarily be seen when you post it because you will know this from Instagram and LinkedIn where it says posted three, three days ago. So it's always important to bear in mind that even though the algorithm is there, it still might not work in your favour. But you really need to know who you're targeting. You need to know your audience. These are your world. These are the people you should know inside out. So really, you should know when they're online. Yes, Facebook is more popular, maybe one to four o'clock in the afternoon. Great. But are you targeting new parents? Are you targeting parents with small children? These people will be 
flapping about, trying to get lunch ready, trying to clear up from lunch, trying to get children on a nap, trying to go out for some exercise. They are not going to be checking Facebook at that time. Three o'clock in the morning, however, completely different story. They might be sat outside a child's bedroom trying to get them to go to bed, or they might be doing the night feeds. So you really need to think about, actually, when is my audience online? And you can find that out. Every single platform has the analytics that you can see, oh, actually, I, my main demographic is women and they're between the ages of 24 and 52. They're online most often on a Wednesday between midnight and two o'clock in the morning. Great, perfect, absolutely wonderful. You can use that, but make sure that you do. Because using analytics is where you really, really get to know who is looking at your content. And without that, what you're posting might not even be relevant. And that brings us on to your content. This really is the only thing, the closest way that you can possibly cheat the system, cheat the algorithm, because you need to make people want to engage. If engagement is the way that people actually change the algorithm, make people want to like it, make people want to comment, make people want to get interactive with what you're posting. Because without that, you're never gonna change the algorithm. So what do they do? Do they watch videos? Do they watch the videos with sound? Or do, they, do you need to add subtitles? Do they really like photography or do you have something that's complicated and actually you need to explain it using your infographic? Do they really engage with polls? Do they answer your question boxes? Is it easy to go with a yes or no? All of these things are really important to bear in mind because again, it comes back to, am I doing, am I showing, am I sharing what people want to see in the way that they want to see it. It's not about what you have to say, it's about what your audience wants to hear. And if they're hearing things that they like, that they enjoy, that they relate to, then they're going to engage with you, they're going to share, they are going to want to know more. So when should I post on social media? Brilliant question to ask, and absolutely one that you should keep asking yourself. Because while you will never ever get a sensible or legitimate or absolute final yes then is your answer you will always be able to look you will be able to use your analytics use your content assess the situation and really get to know actually this is when my audience is online this is what they're engaging with more this is what they want to see and that works will it work next week will it work next month have you have you gone a little bit far have you done the same things too often that is the only way that you're ever going to know when is best. And ultimately, the only thing that you should be bearing in mind is whether you're posting on social media at all and if you're doing it regularly enough. Thank you so much for joining our 7 at 7 tonight. Obviously, if you have any more questions, you're more than welcome to drop us an email to info at harveyandhugo.com. Check out our website, check out our social media platforms, and we hope to hear from you soon. Take care.